turning the hot tub for you to get in. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another episode. And welcome to our channel if you haven't seen us before. This is a beauty. Guess where we are? We are at Duck Bill Banks Camping. It's exclusive. Not just anyone can come here. Well, you sort of can if you book in. These are the deets on the side, but you can actually contact them directly through the grams, which we did. And guess what? We got the whole place to ourselves. Can you believe it? But the funny thing is, we'd sort of passed this area before. And then I said to Mr. B, can we go back? And he's like, yep. So we are here. Where is it located, roughly? Devonport, Lonnie, down the middle a bit, and we're at Quamby. So I want you just to stick around, get comfy. You know what, Mr. B helped me set up the Eddie van and then he disappeared. So I've got to go and find him. And we're gonna show you around what this place has got to offer because it's absolute cracker. And you know the other thing? I've got some relaxing to do. Didn't punch you then. <laughs> what are you doing? You did a runner on me. You like helped me set up. Well, you did your man stuff and then you disappeared. Yep. You, you're just relaxing. Yep. What do you think to this place? It's so Pretty cool. <laughs> You've got a good spot. Yeah. It is a good spot. Well, I reckon Mr. B's just gonna chill out for the afternoon. He goes chill out until it's like happy hour. See? You need to get one of these. Oh, they are pretty good. Now whether you can see it, the Nike hammock. Nike, your hammocks are absolutely the best. And I've got to say, support these guys because they are local, not to Tasmania, but um, to Australia. Actually, not far from where we, we actually came from. And what they do is they recycle um, water bottles to make these hammocks. And they're super cool. We love them, don't we? And you know what, Nike? If you want to send us um, some hammocks or whatever for our collection, we'd, we'd love that, wouldn't we? <laughs> Actually, you know what? How come you're having all the fun relaxing? I think I should set up mine. Yep. So I've actually found this really cool spot. I'm thinking that I want to set up my Nike hammock, but Mr. B reckons if I set it up here, then chances are I'm going to fall in the creek. But you know what? I'm going to prove him wrong and I'm going to set it up here. we do love about private camps, hit camps, or just, you know, camping on somebody's private property, if you might find it through social media or a recommendation and contacting somebody, is just, it's such a difference to free camping. Yeah, I know you've got to pay. Um, I'm just gonna quickly let you know with the rates here, but you know what, when you've got this as camp and you know that someone's literally not just gonna come and camp on top of you, I think it's actually worth every cent. So at this camp, you're gonna be looking at around about $40 a night. You do need to be self-contained as well. Um, at this point, they are allowing dogs, but they do need to be on a leash at all times. And that's due to the wildlife as well. So, you know, you do need to respect the rules. But the creek and the lack of rain, um, unfortunately, the creek isn't running to its fullest. There's, there's very minimum water at the moment. But there's platypus that live here. I was having a chat to the owner earlier and the amount of platypus that do live along this, um, these banks is absolutely incredible. So, you know, you've got wildlife literally right here at your camp. I'm pretty sure that there's gonna be um, petty melons and wallabies and that type of thing a little bit later on. So for Mr. B and I, we actually really do love camps like this.
there was something pretty special about this Who camp. Hang on, Shh, I haven't told him where we are yet, Bert. I haven't told him about the secret. <sighs> you, you didn't, you didn't hear that in the background, guys. I told you there was something pretty special about this camp, and you know what? If you can sort of see it behind me, ta-da! We're here. There we go. Welcome, Bert. Hey, Bert. What are you doing? Cleaning the hot tub for you to get in. Ooh, how exciting! Did you hear that, guys? Cleaning the hot tub for moi. Is it safe to sit here? So. Is it safe to sit here? Yeah, you're not that here to get down here. No, I don't think I'm going to break the concrete. No. So guys, how good is this? I told you it was special. This is the hot tub that makes this place so unique. And look, it's actually on the creek bed. I did tell him that you needed some rain. Yeah, we need a lot of rain. And I was going to do the rain dance a little bit later. Will you? Yeah, the water. It comes from the creek? Yeah, it comes from the creek. It's, it's creek water. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to feel it. Oh, you know what? I could actually go in here like this, I reckon. Hasn't been heated yet. Today's, today's not a bad day in Tassie, I've got to say. But later on, I'm actually going to show you exactly what this bad boy does. 20, and 26 degrees there already and the fire hasn't been lit. Oh, there you go. Because this concrete maintains the heat yep. once it heats up. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think you're going to spark her up about 3.30? Yeah, around 3.30 or 4. Yeah, and takes, then how, takes, how long? Takes about an hour. Well, now it's already 26 degrees. It'll probably mm. take an hour and it'll be up to 30 plus. Wow. Yeah, I'm, 30 plus. I'm liking the sound of that, guys. I'm liking the sound of that. If you leave it, if you, put, if you let it run for too long, it'll be 40 plus oh, and, and it becomes a sauna. Yeah, I think it will be, definitely. Well, I'm thinking that going by last night, it actually wasn't too cold. So I'm going to try and stay in this as long as I can tonight, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon that's pretty good. And getting back to camp, how many would you sort of take here? Because I was telling everybody that it's um, it's quite exclusive and it's actually such a beautiful property. Max, you mean? Yeah. Yep. Uh, max, I think on Australia Day we had trailers. Mm -hmm. That was big trailers, yep. seven metre trailers. I think we had around a dozen here. Okay. But that was getting towards its limit. Yeah, yeah. Sort and of. And you don't want to have it too crowded. No, that's its limit, about 10, 10 to 12. Yeah. Because otherwise it becomes a caravan park then and not a... Oh, we don't want not, that. Not a retreat, I guess. Absolutely. And also here, obviously, we're going to... Bert's going to spark up the fire here for the hot tub. But um, you can have access to um, tubs of firewood. Yeah. So they're different amounts. What have we got? $10, $20, depends on how long 10, you're staying. $10, $15, and $20. Yep. And where does that timber come from? Local? Off here. Okay. From the farm? Yep. Okay. And how big's the farm all together? Just short of 32 acres. There you go. There you go. Oh, it's, only a, it's only just a big backyard, really. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? This morning when I first got here and I had to set up, well, bloody Mr. B, he's still over there in that hammock. And anyway, Bert came down and I was like, oh, I've been looking for you. Because, you know, so I could check in and do the right thing. And he goes, oh, I've been out catching snakes. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? And he's like, yeah, I'm a snake catcher. Tell us a bit about that. What can I tell you? How many do you get? Oh, I don't really like some snakes. Some days I don't get any call outs. Some days I might get four or five call outs in a one day. Jeez. Just depends what sort of mood the snakes are in <laughs> um, you know it's mating time at the moment so they're really on the move Ooh. looking for a mate yeah and i guess too would it be i mean i don't know nothing about snakes this is the expert here would it be like i've noticed in tassie on our travels in the last i'm going to say probably three to four weeks it's actually really warming up so do you think it's because of the uh, the change in the weather or not really yeah, well, it's been hot it's been quite a hot warm it's summer. tazzy hot, not my hot. Yeah, yep. it's, and, and it's mating time. January, February, March is mating time. Mm -hmm. So they're looking for a mate. So they're on the move. They'll travel, they'll travel kilometres looking for a mate. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they do that, but anyway, they do it. So you know before when I gave directions, and you know what my directions are like, Devonport, Lonnie, down a bit, Quamby. So the farms actually, wait for it. Actually, you tell them, Bert. What, what's your road called? Bogan Road. What a cracker. Quite a few. Once with... further, further you get up the road, the more boganry they get. <laughs> Have they got any teeth? Uh, a few more than me. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Well, what else are we going to do to this hot tub? Get in it. So you know what Bert was banging on before about the like, heat pump and you know all that sort of thing. What, what are you? What's going on? What did you see? Oh. Uh, maybe not. Thought I seen a platypus. Oh, I was just telling him about the platypus. But anyway, this is the the heat thingy. What's he do? But and basically, if you ask me, you chuck wood on it. You put some fire starters on it. It goes boof. It heats up a bit. Yeah. And same. Sorry. That sort of is that sort of how it well, works. Same principle as your hot water cylinder at home. Yeah. Cold water comes in the bottom. Yep. And the hot comes out the top. But obviously it's a lot slower because it's not being pumped. It's only it's only gravity. Right. Pretty. How good's the setup? Gotta yeah, it's say. Good. It's 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 a good setup, but it's slow. Yep. But that's okay. And having said slow, an hour and a half and it's hot, and then it stays hot. Yeah. You can sort of stop burning wood then. Yep. There you go. All right, I'm keen. I'm going to do quick as a flash. Sometimes life will push you down. Make you fall onto the ground. But I know you will turn it around. How good was the hot tub? Amazing. It was so good. It actually was way better than my expectations and the heat just like fully pumped out. The hottest it got to just before we were about to hop out was just around about 39 degrees. So yeah, so good. It was really good. It takes a little bit of while to heat up um, and definitely when you're in there you can feel the heat Mm. Or the hot water coming back through the um, copper system. Yeah, such such a good system, hey. And like Bert said, like it just goes back to generations, doesn't it? So cool. Ah, oh, well, we're gonna kick back. Dinner was good. Um, it was really easy. We honestly, we just steak and some veg. So yeah, it was nothing bougie tonight. But no. that was all right. You had a good rest day. I did. Hardly saw you. Yep. Hanging out in your hammock. Yep. Which was good. It's good too, travelling on the road, to have a couple of down days and rest days too. So that was really good. Yeah. Yeah, alright. And I've that... been by a bloody jack jumper, so. Ah, oh, jack jumpers. I'd never even heard of such a thing, but yeah, watch out for them. I think they may only be in Tassie. Would that be right? Mm, yep. Yeah. Mm, oh well, not to worry. Oh well, we might kick back and enjoy the rest of our night and the fire. Because that's really nice, being yep. able to have that here tonight, so. Yeah, it's good. We hope you loved the little experience of our hot tub river or creek, which and, needs some rain. And what's it called? Oh my goodness. Yeah. What's it called? <laughs> it was just such a hard one for me to remember like all day. And what's it called? <laughs> it's called Duck Hill. Duck Hill. Duck Duck <laughs> Bill. Oh, Duck Bill. I could keep calling it Duck Hill. Duck, <laughs> Duck Bill. Banks. Duck Bill Banks. Duck Bill Banks. I keep calling it Duck Hill. Duck Bill Banks. And a huge thank you to Bert and to Mika for having us. <laughs> but like I said, all the links are there. So even if I get tongue twisted, you'll know where to come. And the hosp hospitality here has been absolutely amazing. So highly recommend it. I'm going to give it. 10 out of 10. Yeah. So on that note, we'll say goodbye. Thank you. We'll see us in our next episode. Where are we going to be? Well, I might give him a little hint. Oh. Mm. I don't even think you know. So no, 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 let's no, no, just... no, no, no. I'm going to give him a little bit of a hint. Really? Yeah. Okay. Tasmania. <laughs> it used to be a famous racetrack. Famous racetrack? Yep. Um, a race, road rally, I call it, road rally. 
Really? Yes. I have no idea what you're banging on about, Mr. B. Can okay. you just finish up and do what okay. you normally do? Have fun, go on adventures, number one. <laughs> always be safe. Um, yeah, I'm intrigued. We'll uh, see where evidently we're going. Catch you then, guys. Mm -hmm.